Yo, 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 what's happening, people? Boss man saying be outdoors. Back out here in the garden. Back out here in the garden. I'm trying to wrap this garden up this week because I plan on doing some fishing this weekend. So I'm trying to wrap this garden up before the weekend. And uh, last night we had a storm came through, man. And when I tell you it dumped some rain, it dumped some rain. And uh, so I'm out here right now looking at the damage, man. And uh, it messed up the garden in a couple spots. Let me show you. Messed this spot up right here. And uh, mess these two rows up right here. That little spot right there. Messed it up right there. And uh, I think it messed it up down here on this end in a couple spots. And when I tell you it beat it down, it beat it down. It washed out right here. This whole area right here just washed out. I know a couple of people's talking about, man, why you got your rose, rose so high if you garden or don't hold no water, then ain't no need for a raised bed. Uh, ain't no need for raised roads. Now you see why I do what I do. When it rain up here, it rain, man. But y'all see how it beat them, it beat them roads down. So they still standing, but hopefully I don't, I don't get no more rain no time soon. But this end of the garden, I'm kind of really experimenting because I know this end of the garden hold water. So I'm really not expecting nothing to grow, to grow past a certain point. So, but we'll see. So, I didn't want to, but I think a couple of y'all was right, man. I think a couple of y'all was right. I might have to load a couple of them uh logs up over there and uh put them on this end of the garden so when it rain it'll help keep the garden from washing out i'm gonna try to plant a couple more rows today i got uh i got Two rows of purple hood planted. I got one row of squash planted. I got one row of cucumbers planted. Today I'm gonna try to do the okra and the corn. But I'm gonna have to fix these rows first, so y'all stay tuned. Since it done rain and that sun and hit this dirt, it done packed it down pretty good. So I'm about to go get a shovel. Y'all stay tuned.
I know y'all probably wondering, boss man, what are you doing? So I've been doing a little research on on growing corn. And uh so what I'm doing, I'm making a a bed to plant some corn in. And so what I've gathered is that when you plant the corn together, it helps to germinate the 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 stalks or the female part of the corn. The female part of the corn it helps germinate it so you can get a good corn. And when the when the corn starts to germinate, when you have the corn closer together when the wind blows it allows it allows all of that germination to flow throughout the corn and that's what helps the corn germinate for you to you know get a, a good corn so what i'm gonna do when i plant the corn i'm gonna just plant them you know what i'm saying plant all the corn in a row so that way when it grow all the corn to be together instead of having a single corn going down a row. See what I'm saying? So they are saying when you have a single corn, see, it'll be different if this whole garden was corn, it'll be different. But by you just having one row of corn, it's gonna be hard for it to germinate. So that's why they saying it's best to make a bed. So that's what I learned, people. So that's what I'm doing. Now y'all stay tuned, I gotta get busy now. But right now I'm finna make my hose, I'm finna go and get this okra and this corn in the ground. Y'all stay tuned. Oops, I'm in the wrong row. I'm in the wrong row, people. Try to knock these out today. Done with the fertilizer, now I'm finna cover it up. All right, y'all, I got the okra. This okra is a, is a velvet, an emerald, emerald velvet. Yo, 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 what's happening, people? All right, I got the, uh, what is that, okra? I got the okra in the ground, so now I'm gonna try to get this corn in the ground. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm just going with the flow, baby. I gotta put some fertilizer down. 
I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I'm just going with the flow, baby. All right, so I don't know, man. Let me see if I can get this done before it get dark. And uh, that way I don't have to worry about it. I think I'm gonna do I don't even know how much corn I got. Let me see. I got... I think I got enough to do five across. So I'm going to do five holes across. So we're going to do... One, two, three, four, five. That's how we're gonna do it, baby. Y'all stay tuned. All right, y'all, I got the fertilizer in. After I cover it up, then we're gonna drop the corn in there. I'm putting one, one seed in each hole. Time for the corn, baby. Time for the corn. I should have enough. That's it, people. Hopefully they all grow. Hopefully they all grow. 
I'm still experimenting with the corn. I know it's a lot to put in the put in the growing corn and and watermelons. So I don't think I'm gonna get to the watermelons today. So I'm gonna cover this corn up, and I think that's gonna be it for today. Y'all stay tuned. Let's see, people, we got the corn planted. Woohoo! Well, that's it, y'all, for today. I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Peace.